Hello everyone, my name is Lamir Hanzeli and I'm here to talk about lower bounds and optimal algorithms for, for the personalized federated learning. In the paper, we are focusing on the federated learning. It is an optimization setup where we consider data set to be split among a large number of devices. Algorithms usable in this scenario satisfy following scheme. In each iteration, master server broadcasts the current model to each device. Then the devices compute to the next local model XI K plus one based on their local data function and send it back to server, which then aggregates them to the next iterate. Algorithms in federated learning vary in what computation do the devices do in each iteration. Algorithms may require devices to do gradient steps, stochastic gradient steps, proximal steps, and so on. Regarding the objective, we will work with the personalized objective. Each worker is allowed to have his own local model XI. Objective consists of two terms, data term, and the regularization term, which penalizes dissimilarity of local models. Objective is parameterized by lambda. The bigger lambda, the closer the optimal models to each other. In the practice, one often sets local functions fi to have empirical risk minimization form of summons f tilde ij. On the data function, we assume the following. Fi's are else smooth and mu strongly convex, and in the case that they are have empirical risk minimization form, their summons are tilde else smooth. We would like to find algorithm that minimizes the objective, and uh, it should do it uh, using as least communication around as possible, and secondarily using the least computation as possible. Before presenting algorithms, we are going to present uh, lower bounds on the number of communication rounds and amount of local computation. Lower bounds for worst case means that there is no algorithm that can minimize set of smooth, strongly convex local functions i faster than these rates. Here is the lower bound on the amount of the local computation uh, on, on the communication rounds. And here is the lower bound of, for the number of local computation. Amount of local computation depends on what steps does the algorithm requires, require devices to do. We obtain these bounds by finding the worst case function, which is actually very simple, in fact, quadratic. Now, with lower bounds established, let's proceed to the algorithms. Here we present the table of algorithms for our setup. We can see that these algorithms are matching uh, lower bounds for the number of communication rounds and computation rounds, depending on the value lambda. And uh, also note that these algorithms are, doing, are requiring different kinds of steps on the, look, on the devices to be taken. We, we present uh, an acceler accelerated L2SGD plus algorithm which is accelerated version of standard L2HDD plus algorithm. And a part of that, we present uh, two, two versions of accelerated proximal gradient step and the gradient descent. And uh, it's an inexact version, where in this inexact version, instead of computing the exact proximal step, we just approximate it using any solver. We opt for the accelerated gradient descent and Katyusha to obtain the optimal rates. If there are no questions, let's summarize the results. We have federated learning setup with personalized objective, depending on what kind of computation do we require to be done on devices and what is the personalization parameter, lambda, we present an optimal algorithms for solving the objective. Algorithms are optimal up to a logarithmic factor. We managed to do for almost all pairs of local computation type and lambda pairs. So from the optimization point of view, we consider our personalized objective to be solved. Yet solving objective doesn't mean that it's no longer interesting. There are still many questions that needs to be answered. Thanks for the atten your attention. Have a nice day.